Uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is going to be our sixth lecture, and uh, we have moved to chapter three. Sorry, that is still in Thai. <laughs> Not really much. Uh, it's my first time teaching this class. Uh, on the chapter three, we're going to have two problems. That's going to be uh, problem, problem number one, and problem number two. Most of the problem gonna talking about the equilibrium of particle. One gonna be in two D, another one gonna be in three D. We have discussed a lot about the two D and the video clips already have like four problems of the previous year problem on the midterm examination. And today, I will discuss about the 2D problem again, and then I will move to the 3D on the second part of our lecture. The particle going to represent the whole, most of the time, cable system or any kind of system at least is mean that's going to be in static equilibrium. To be in static equilibrium, to be in static equilibrium, oops, sorry, <laughs> the whole system, the whole system must be, must be in, in equilibrium together. The cable over here must be at least, the cable over here must be at least, and also the cable over here and the whole system under application of the force over here. Since the whole system is in equilibrium, we're looking for a thing over here to represent the state of equilibrium. To take this one, we represent the state of equilibrium by drawing the free body diagram. We don't have a free body diagram, we just take this portion, the particle over here. Okay, and then put the point A over here. If this point A in equilibrium, the whole system will be in equilibrium. Then you set up the axis. You may put this one is in x direction, and you put this one is in y direction. That's going to be the second step. And then the third step, you know the weight over here. The weight over here will transfer to this cabin. And you know the cable can represent the force vector. Then this is let's set up to be 10 kilo newton. The 10 kilo newton the weight of the machine gonna be high down in the negative y direction. Then what happened? The cable here and the cable here we helping each other to resist the 10 kilo newton. So this is going to be the force T from what? From A to D, T sub A, B in tension. The good thing of cable, thing this cable when you see cable when walk, hit time. And then we have another arrow for the force vector over here, that's going to be force vector T. From what? From A to B. We call this T sub A to B. Okay. And then the angle. Sometimes they put it in the angle. Sometimes they put it in the proportion. Okay. Since this is in angle 30 degree, you got to put it 30 degree over here. This is going to be the body back and, and then you get like one or two points from drawing this one. 
Okay. Then what happened? The known applied force of ten kilonewton will cause tension landing in OB and in AB. That's going to be what we are looking for. We can look for the TAB and TAB. We got to use the mathematics in the form of equation of E. 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 Okay. That's going to be true. We determine the tension force. Then we have the equilibrium of particle to be in equilibrium in x axis. This is in x axis. And also we have this one. It's going to be equilibrium in the y axis. Now we got to decide which equation should we use first. Tasinjaiwa equation nai teacher learn. If we consider the force here, this one already in x axis, we won't do anything. But for the force over here, for the force over here, this is the force 30 degree with the x. So the component on the top of this force is going to be T sub AB of what? Close to the angle. There are sine and cosine. Since this one close to the angle, it's going to be what? It's going to be cosine, right? So you may put this one to be cos 30 degree. And then you may put the force, the component coquette, again in the y direction. And then you have this one to be what? T sub A, B. We use cosine already. The other one must be, use cosine already. The other one must be psi. Automatically, this is going to be psi 30 degree. Okay. Now, you can see, if we look at the component of the force in the x direction, there are two unknown. They can x me song unknown. If you take a look at it in the y direction, we have only one unknown. So we decide starting from summation of x sub y equal to zero. Then you got to work. you got to set up the direction. Since this is positive y, we put this positive y to be left axis. This one put in the y, so it's going to be plus T sub A, B, psi 30 degree upward. 10 is downward minus 10 equal to 0. Then you just move the 10 to the right hand side. That's going to be 10 divided by psi 30 degree. Help me. Put, uh, put 10 divided by psi 30. What did you get? That's going to be the direct answer for tension in the table A, B. Yeah, tension in the table A, B. What did you get? Larger than 10, for sure. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You get 20, right? So this is going to be 20 by O. Did you get the answer? Did you get 20? Huh?
โอเค put it in your calculator โอเคเอ่อ t and then sine and then inverse and oh yeah inverse going to be point five inverse going to be two times ten is correct ถอนที่ที่เราดูทัน now you may go to the second equation for summation of x sub x equal to zero t sub a d is what we are looking for so we set the direction t sub a d and this is gonna be in the opposite direction minus t sub a d cosine thirty degree equal to zero then t sub a d gonna be twenty and then cosine thirty degree then you get the answer in the you know Newton that's it for what we are looking for just put thirty thirty and then cosine uh, okay then cosine and then you time it by twenty you get it to be seventeen pi up t two okay seventeen pi thirty two kilo newton and this is one of what we can do I can would like you guys to go back to solve this problem however I can would like to change the thing just change this one take thirty degree out and then let a jam put this one in the ratio of three, four, and five. And then what can you change? The body diagram will change. Change of what? Just change the angle, take 30 degree out. Then you have this one to be to be three, four. And then what going to be changed again? Ah, this one, oxide, cosine must be changed because we 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 don't have 30 degree, but we have three four. Since this one three four, this one supposed to be five, right? Then what going to be changed again? The component of the force over here. The component of the force over here from the light blue staying to the right. When you have the ratio like this one, the component of this force is going to be what? You just take a look at the horizontal. This is what? This is 4. So this is 4 divided by 5. In the vertical, in the vertical, they nailed it. Is this? Three and then divided by five. Okay. Now, what happened? You still use the same concept, but you got to change this one. T sub a b in the vertical is T sub a b times three over five. So this is going to be T sub a b up times four over five minus ten. This is upward, okay? It's going to be positive. And this is downward. It's still made 10. Then you change this one to 10. But you got to time what? Time 5 minus 4, okay? When you time this one, it's going to be 50 divided by 4. 50 divided by four. The answer just changed to what? Well, point five, right? So your answer now change to twelve point five. And then for the summation of x sub x equal to zero, now t sub a b is a b is okay. But for this one, it's going to be t sub a b um, four 
over five. Okay, and then over here, we just change this one, change this one to be twelve point five, and then um, five over four. That's gonna be what? That's gonna be the answer. Just take twelve point five times one point two five. What did you get? Point five times five divided by four. Fifteen point six two five. This is gonna be it's correct. Not correct. I don't think so. What did you get? 15 by 6, 2, 5. Okay, you have 6, 2, 5 kilo newton. Ah. That's going to be what we should have kept T sub A, B. I do something wrong, man. I can't maybe do something correct. Which one is wrong? Which one is wrong? T sub A, B time 3 over 5. <laughs> T sub A B. This one. T sub A B. Time 3 over 5. That is not correct. This one. T sub A B time 3 over 5. Change it. To me, change it anything. Okay. This is going to be time 3. And then over 5. So this one is going to be time 5 over 3. <laughs> over 3. What did you get? This one should be what? Something change. 50 over 3. 50 over 3. It's going to be what? 50 divided by 3. 16 point. 16 point. 16 point. 16 point. 6. 7 kilonewton. Okay. Now, here, you got to check it. This is going to be 16.667 or 16 16.67 16.67 16.67 times 5 over 4 so what did you get? times 5 divided by 4 20.83 I think this is not correct Anyway, you it should be okay. You get what? You get the answer of what? Twenty by eight three, right? Okay. Yes, it's going to be twenty by eight three kilo newton. Okay. And I put it over here. I explain the red ring over here. There are two steps to solve the problem first. The, the free body diagram of the joint of the cable. And then second, your application of the equilibrium equation to determine the tension forces. Okay. And then the problem can be classified into two big types. First, for the given group, over the cable system, you can determine two forces in two cables. This one that I just show you, okay, if the angle of the two cables, I know, we just finished, solve this problem. And then this one, solving for two angles of the two cables is never been in our examination. And then one point C, one point C, between one force in one cable and also one angle in another cable. จบเป็นที่สองแบบเมื่อเรารู้โหลดจบเป็นที่หนึ่งหาแรงสองแรงจบเป็นที่สองหาแรงหนึ่งแรงและมุมหนึ่งมุม from the previous lecture. We have both. And then today, Ajahn will focus to this problem. 
given the strength of the cable, such as it has five kilo newton, then using the maximum load, the cable system can resist. We didn't much discuss about this one, but three years ago, we have this kind of problem. Then let us focus on kit. Okay, we're going to focus on the second one. When I can put this one in the second problem, we will set the force over here to be W, and we are high into five kit. It's going to be the, the maximum W, the cable system, the cable system can resist. They are going to ask you something like this. The problem is W will increase from 0, 10, 20, 30. Up until one point, there should be a cable that's going to fail first, right? And for this one, you will determine W. Anyway, let me take you to the real world term examination over here. This is the real thing, okay? Let's go to the computer. This me meet the problem slowly and Carefully trying to understand it. For this one, we have the wire system. I can even put it in the cable, but I can just change it to the wire. The same thing, the wire in the cable, this is the wire, right? Then there are the one, one, two, three, four, five, there are five of them. And then, this is the way W, W, at the joint E. By putting this one in this manner, it indicated that the W could be on this joint E, like this one, and put this one to the W. That means we weren't interested in this table. We are going to be between the force in table A, B. This is going to be the first one. In B, C. This is going to be the second one. In B, C. Which one is going to be the E? This is going to be the E. And then the E. That's going to be another one over here. It's going to be the E. Putting the color is going to help. But now, all the answer not going to be the number. It's going to be the function of the word W. Okay? Then, I can say, draw the free body diagram. Draw the free, draw, draw the required free body diagram. There are the area for us to draw the free body diagram at the bottom. And then, we are going to determine the equation of the tension in the wire. That means to determine these four colors, okay? And then later we will discuss to the next if each of the Y can resist the maximum of 50 Newton due to mean the maximum width of the bucket that the wire system can support, okay? So the first step is going to be this one and the second step going to be this one, and then the third step, we are going to be in the maximum width of the bucket, okay? Only the first and second, that's eight point already, if you can do so. So, let me move you down over here. 
Okay, there are point B and point E. That's going to be represent our our system. Okay. Now, what three body that I can you should start first? In my recommendation, we start by the external force or external load. We always start at that one. So we start at the E. At the E, there is W. So don't worry, just put W in the vertical direction. And that's going to be what we are looking for on the third step. Okay, don't worry. It can be the number and it can be the letter whatsoever. Don't just don't worry about it. And then basis upon this one, you have the cable. Okay, the pink cable. The pink cable is in this direction. Just make a copy of it. Okay, take your ruler, make a copy, trying to put it in parallel. So we have this force in parallel. And this one is E D. You may call it T sub D E. I said putting one thing. I prefer to use T because T can represent the word tension. But if you don't like it, you may put this one to be the F. Okay. That's going to be represent from the word of force. Force length. Tension language. Send the cable always in tension. Cable always in tension. Cable may samat lap lang compression die. Only lap tension. So the arrow always, always point out of the particle. Cable na malap lang wing hao nan. Sanyalap koman ja pung ox summer. Now, let Ajahn take you to the another cable. This is another cable BD. So, just make a copy, copy it, BD. See? In, it is in parallel with the light bullet. And then we just take this one and put it on here. And you will get this one to be T sub B E. Okay. Sin B E is in tension. Okay. At, at E. Then you may draw the force B E again in the opposite direction. This one going to follow the third law of Newton. Okay. Now, B E X up on the B. The yellow line will resist it. And then you may put the yellow line to represent by this arrow. And then we call this T sub A B. T sub A B. And then the last cable is going to be the orange. Okay. Just put this one in parallel. Then you get this one going to be the force of P sub B C. Now, nearly have two point already. Okay. You have no, actually, let's call it, even though it's unknown, the Fi force. The resistance force. This one change to be the apply force and the resistance force. Next, we got to put the direction. Okay, we know force has magnitude, kana, and has the direction, Okay, you just put it 
as show over here 20 degree okay and then you have the ratio 3 4 5 for the be this is going to be 4 and this is 3 so this is 5 and also for this one you have 4 in vertical 3 in the horizontal and 5 and then the last one you have this one to be 20 degree just put it now two point are yours okay everything complete from the particle the apply loading the resistance force the direction one point this one change to the apply force resistance force and the direction now you have two free body diagram okay and which one which one you have to start first let me song the song diagram which one we going to start first we always we always start at the at the joy at the joy at the joy that is subjected subjected to the apply external external force okay this one is going to be w we will start from this one we will start from this one from this one then if you start from this one you got to project okay determine the component of the force then what you get for this one is going to be t sub d e what t sub d e what 20 degree side or cosine it's going to be cosine because the angle close to the axis okay that's going to be cos 20 degree you may call it cos but most of the time my attack to call it cosine uh, they 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 he or they they they, they never call cost. It seems to be like that. There is no cost in American system when I study about it. It's gonna be cosine. And then for this one also, you may do the projection. And then this one gonna be T sub D E. Okay, this one cosine already. This one supposed to be psi twenty degree. Then there are the component of this force by parallel axis. Actually, when we draw this one, you use parallel axis. This one parallel axis. This one parallel axis. And this one also parallel axis. You have another one over here. Okay. Let me zoom it in now. We have practice determine based on the angle. Now for this one, it's going to be E sub B E. Um, what? In this direction, horizontal is 3, right? Put it 3 divided by 5. And vertical is 4. E sub B E. Um, 4. Five. That's this for our free body diagram. And then we come to our calculation. Okay. This is on this one. Let us start. Which equation you got to use first? Summation of x sub x. There is two forces in the x direction. There are two forces in the x direction. So just put 
the first equation by summation of x sub x. Okay. And then t sub e d cosine theta. Put this one in positive. T sub d e cosine 20 degree. And opposite to it, minus this one. T sub T sub d e. If you don't like 3 over 5, you just can change it to be 0 0.6. The same thing. This one is 0 0.6. And then this is going to be 0. Now, you may determine what you refer to. You may click like this one. P sub d e cosine 20 degree equal to P sub b e times 0 0.6. It's going to be the same thing. Okay, it will be the same thing. And then you may say P sub B E is going to be equal to P sub B E cosine cosine 20 degree divided by divided by divided by 0 0.6. Then you have P sub B E equal to equal to, I got 1.5662, 1.5662, and then P sub D E. That's going to be the relationship between the force in these two cable. Okay. Did you get to put the cosine 20 and divided by I six uh, clear twenty cosine divided by point six. Yep, one point five six six two. Okay, you should practice put thing in your computer. Now we have another equation: summation of f sub y equal to zero and upward going to be positive. Okay. Okay, we have this one. P sub B E. P sub B E. Upward. Ham 0 0.8. This one, upward. And this one, upward also. Plus P sub D E. Psi 20 degree. This one, upward. And then it's going to be minus W. If you prefer, you just take equal to and W just on the opposite direction. Just put it over here. Now, you got to take the P sub B E here and put it over here. Okay. If you do so, you will get this one to be 1.5662 and then T sub D E then 0 0.8 plus T sub D E and psi 20 degree and equal to W and then you have T sub D E over here Okay, you may combine it. T sub D E 1.5662 times some 0.8 plus psi 20 degree, then equal to W. And you may put everything together. Okay, you may put everything together. That's going to be Psi 20 degree and then put it 20 oop, location is 20 psi 0 0.3420. This one is going to be 0 0.3420. And then 
you compute 1.5662 times 1.5662 times 0.8 okay you just times 0.8 and plus plus what plus 0.342 equal to that's going to be 1.595 okay and then P sub D E is going to be W divided by 1.59496 and then you will get this one to be 0 0.627 and then W and then W. Ah, you may have answer it to uh, the table later. Then, then you may compute T sub B E. Just take this one, put into this one, T sub B E. Gonna be 1.5662 times 0 0.6 Seven W. So P sub B E gonna be equal to equal to zero point nine eight two and then W. Okay. Then it's better to I like your your answer. Let's put this one T sub B E T sub B E. And then if you take it in the color, okay, B E is going to be light blue. This is going to be the light blue. Okay, and then B E, B E is going to be the pink. That's going to be your pink color. Okay, you have passed into cable already. Now, Close this one, and then let me move you to the P body of joint B. P sub B E is now equal to zero point nine eight two and W. Now the tension in the B E gonna be the applied force to the joint B. You don't need this free body diagram. You have only considered the free body diagram of joint B. Do the same thing. This is going to be the horizontal, sorry, vertical component and basis upon this one. This is going to be P sub B E of what? Vertical. Four over five. This is gonna be four five. And for this one, for check it, this T sub B E horizontal. Uh, uh, this is horizontal. Gonna time what? In horizontal three over five. If you want convenient, you can speak Thai. <laughs> if uh, okay. But I I appreciate you to speak English. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, my English is not as good as her because she studied international school. I studied English when I was in bottom five. <laughs> I started my English lab when in my generation. Then following this one, you have what? P sub B C, and then. The, the anchor is close to the component of the force, side or cosine. Since this is close to the anchor, it's going to be this one, 20 degree. And then on the top, on the top, on the top, you have this one to be P sub BC. And then this cosine already. So this is going to be sine 
twenty degree. Now you are ready to use the free body diagram of choice B. Okay, free body diagram of the choice B. Okay, that's gonna be free body diagram of the choice E. Ah, which one do you use first? Again, you may consider this time the vertical have only two components. We start by summation of F sub Y equal to zero. The vertical have two components. So we have what? Upward. This one positive. P sub B C. P sub B C. And then side 20 degree. Side 20 degree. And then you have what? You have this one. P sub B E. Negative. P sub B E. P sub B E already this one. So it's going to be 0 0.9. Eight two W and time four over five time zero point eight time zero point eight and then that's gonna be equal to zero. Then you have ten sub B C equal to huh, this is gonna be zero point nine eight two time zero point eight. W and divided by divided by psi 20 degree you get this P sub BC the the yellow the orange okay the orange is in what let's put it into your hand calculator you will get the result of it P sub B C hmm. one point six to eight. Did you get that? One point six to eight. One point six to eight. Trying to get it. Did you get it? Just check it. We go together. Okay. Just put this one. Uh, side 20 is over here, point P42. So, point 982 times point 8. And then divided by this one, point 342. You get 8 wrong. <laughs> um, what happened? What I can get? Uh, this is going to be. Uh, let's check. Point nine eight two. Ham. Ham. Point eight. And then divided by side twenty. Point three four two. Did you get two point two nine seven? Okay. So this is not correct. This is going to be two point two nine seven W. Okay. Oh. Oh. P sub B C P sub B C point eight times point nine eight two divided by okay uh you get the answer the same two point two nine seven right ใช่มั้ยโอเคนะโอเคเราทุกคนต้องเลือกเดียวกันเนาะเมื่อกี้เหมือนอาจารย์โชว์เนาะอ่ะโอเคแล้วมีเดนิกส์วันซัมเมช
พีสัตบีซีโคไซน์เทเวนตี้ดีกรีแอนเดนมิเสพีสัตบีอีทามซีโรพอลซิกส์อีควอทูซีโร We looking for T sub A B the yellow yellow T sub A B T sub A B take what we have previously T sub B C equal to take this one to be the positive this one to be the two point two nine seven W cosine twenty degree T sub B E this is plus 0.982 and 0.6. Okay, put everything into your calculator. You will get this one in W. What did you get? Yes, sir. Yes, okay, 20 cosine 0.9396 ham. Two point two nine seven. That's gonna be two point one five eight. This is gonna be. This is gonna be two point one five eight five and point nine eight two point nine eight two and then time point six. We have this one to be zero point five eight. Nine two plus two point one five two point one five eight five. We have this one to be two point seven four seven seven W. Hmm. Okay. Two point seven four seven seven W. Hmm. Okay. What next we should get? Uh, Y one two one two three. Okay, okay. We have the result of the yellow, and then what we have is what. What we have is what we have for value of this one. Well, first one, and then this is going to be. The second one, second one. Which one is going to be the highest? Which one? We have T sub A B. Okay, T sub A B. We have the T max, maximum, maximum tension, maximum tension. Okay, is up. Current in in y wire a b then w okay w is going to be t sub a b divided by two point seven four four seven seven and the problem said maximum tension gonna be Fifty Newton maximum tension, maximum tension occur this one. This one gonna be fifty Newton divided by two point seven four seven seven, and then this is going to be your answer. Tension occur in the Y A B maximum more larger than this one, larger than this one, larger than this one. This is the largest. Okay. If you would like to determine W for T sub D E, sure, it's going to be larger than this one. So you should get this to be divided by this one. T divided by two point four eighteen point two. So this is going to be. 18.20 Newton. That's going to be another type of problem. Hmm. Just think, how come my solution different? 0.982 times 0.8.
the weather side to windy. So let's call it already side to windy. In what? Time point eight. Time point nine eight two. Boom. Okay, that's going to be a correct result. And then put this one also. Okay, anyway, uh, we finish our equilibrium of particle in 2D. This is going to be the toughest one. If you prefer, use the same one. But now, Ajahn Cheng, Ajahn Tawaiyu, W. Let W to be 10 kilonewton. Then, you saw for all the forces in the cable. That's going to be problem type one. Okay, and this one going to be problem type two. So let us take five minutes break. And I can also stop the Zoom recording. Okay. Uh, we are moving to the equilibrium of particle in three dimension. For this kind of problem, the axis will be positive x, positive y, and positive c. And the previous discussion, we focus on the force vector. We have five methods to write the force vector. You may go back to the previous lecture. We have review about it. And then for the particle to be in equilibrium in 3D, the summation of x sub x must be zero. Summation of f sub y going to be zero. And the last one, summation of f sub c going to be zero. All the equilibrium must occur in three axes. There are three equations. Then one two body diagram. We have two unknowns. We have three unknowns. And then since the problem going to involve the unknown, so mathematically going to be a bit more complicated. Now, for what we have is we can have three equations. So we can note in the particle, okay, if the particle, if the particle is in equilibrium, what can be the force vector? F3. Okay, let us start by putting this one. We can read the force vector from this one. On this problem, 200 Newton in positive x, 100 Newton in positive y, and 150 Newton in negative c. So the force vector F1 going to be positive 200 I for this one, positive 100 J, negative 150 K, negative. Then you put it in, for example, Newton or Kilo Newton. Then there is 250 in this direction, negative X. And this is 150 positive Y. And this is going to be 100 positive C. Okay, so we have F2. This one to be minus 150I. This one going to be positive 150J. And the last one, this one in positive C, positive 100K. Now, the force F3. Is going to be unknown. F T X I, F T X K, F T F T C K. You put it in 
this one okay you hook it in this one this is going to be the summation of x sub x i to put all of this one and then the second one the second one this is going to be summation of f sub y equal to zero and this one will be summation of f sub c equal to zero then f px okay when you put it you got to get it to be what this is going to be negative 50 so when you put this one equal to zero this one will be 250 minus 200 is going to be 50 newton for this one equal to zero so f sub py going to be minus this one this one minus 100 minus 150 is going to be minus 250 Okay, and the last one do the same thing. You take this one to be zero. F sub 3C is going to be 150 minus 100. That's going to be 50 kilonewton. You will get the same one. Okay, this one equal to zero. This one equal to zero. And this one equal to zero. Just moving around, you will get the result. And then the application of equilibrium of particle in 3D, you may find it in very thing. This is going to be the Chang Yat. This one is going to be magnetic plate. This one, magnetic plate. Then panelic. When you turn it on, and then you use the crane to move the thing around. Then there are three cable connected to this A. You may use the joint A to be represent the equilibrium of this system. Just take the joint A. If joint A is in if A is in equilibrium, all the forces in the chain, the steel chain and cable will be in equilibrium. So separate the joint A out of the system. Make the partition coordinate. That's going to be X, Y, and C coordinate. Put the known force. Okay, this is supposed to be on the known force. And then put the unknown force. And the problem comes, you got to be able to write the force vector. There are five ways to write the force vector over here. We will discuss that later. And then after you write the force vector, just use the equilibrium of equation as shown in the previous slides. Come to this problem also. If you are in the field of transportation engineering, you have to ship the product, the vehicle, into the into in two different country. You got to have a system to to lift it and put it in the position. Okay. In this design, we may know the force over here to be the resultant force of the whole system of 100 kilonewton. And then we got to determine the force in each cable, in each cable. And then that's going to be the total of one, two, three, four. Wow, that is more than three. Don't worry. If there are more than three unknown for each P-body diagram, they're going to set the condition on this one. They said magnitude of the force are equal due to 
symmetry of the cable. So you have four unknown. You have two equation with one condition. You can solve it. Four unknown equal to three equation plus one condition. C. ตัวแปรที่ไม่ทราบค่าเท่ากับสามสมการความสมดุลบวกกับเงื่อนไขพิเศษโอเค this one used to be one of uh, the the midterm examination now let a c h a n move you to 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 this one there are the step okay that require us to solve Equilibrium of particle in 3D. First, the free body diagram. Then, use equation of equilibrium. Anyway, these steps okay require something. After you you draw the free body diagram, if the component of the force can be Easily, we will use the equation of equilibrium in scalar form. But if if the problem is tough, you will use it in the vector. What going to be the easy way to draw the component of the force? One going to use what so called for unit for unit. Direction, direction, cosine. For example, if the force F two has the magnitude of one eighty newton, and then you know alpha two, beta two, gamma two, so you can determine the force easily. That's going to be F two equal to Magnitude, okay, and then the direction. This is going to be t i t a n g This is going to be t a n a t i t a n g going to be cos alpha to i plus cos beta to j plus cos gamma to k. c o n d i t i o n cosine. And we can m e easily if you only know the angle alpha two, beta two, gamma two. คือถ้าเรารู้มุมพวกนี้เราเขียน force vector แบบนี้ได้เลยอันนี้จะง่ายนะครับโอเค for another one the force vector f one we can put it in the component. Okay, we project it in this C. Direction. The angle here is 60. This is gonna be 180. Psi 15 degree. We project it in this C direction. And then for this one, you can do it in the projection also. o m a g o m a n 180 cosine 15. You know, see, this is mum mum mum. This one, mum. This one, no, is mum fifteen degree, fifteen degree, fifteen degree. Project on the top. This fifteen degree. Nah, this one is going to be one eighty. This one will be one eighty side fifteen. Okay, and this one will be one eighty cosine. The, the purple cosine fifteen degree, and then you got to project it on this one. The angle between here is sixty degree. Okay, so this one one eighty cosine fifteen, and then cosine sixty, cosine sixty, and for this one one eighty cosine fifteen and sine sixty. So just put it over. Here, one eighty cosine fifteen sine sixty, and this one, one eighty cosine fifteen and cosine sixty. Okay, and then 
the same thing. You get the 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 F one. Let me illustrate this one. So now the force vector F one F one will be equal to which is the, this is the x. Okay, it's going to be one eighty cosine fifteen degree and sine sixty degree. Park it in this positive, so I. And in the y direction, positive. What one eighty cosine fifteen degree and then cosine sixty degree. This positive, J. And then the last one negative, one eighty. And then gonna be what? Gonna be sine fifteen degree and then K. Very important to write the force vector correctly first before we can go further to use the equilibrium equation to determine the unknown force. Then, following this one, if the component of the force is hard to find, then we may going to write all the vector in the Cartesian and then use the equilibrium in vector form. Actually, I can show you in the calculation for our extra example. Let us consider extra example in the 3D on this one. This is going to be my problem many years ago again. And then talking about this one, we have a box here. This box has the weight of 20 kN. This one in 20 kN. And for sure, this is going to transfer the force passing to this cable and the box. And we have this one, 20 kilo newton. Then it's tangent by the cable. This is going to be the cable AB. This is going to be cable AB. And the cable AC. The next one is going to be the cable AC, and then by the cable AD, all the cable helping each other to resist the pink W. We are understanding, right? Cable, all three ends, all three sides, help each other to resist the pink W. We are understanding, right? Cable, all three ends, all three sides, help each other to resist the pink W. Okay. Now we got to draw the free body diagram. The first step, you got to draw the body diagram of what? Of joint A. How to do it? Make a copy. Okay, you just take the joint A and you may put this one. Nine centimeter and put this one to be A, the letter always copy. Then you have the axis, okay? The horizontal axis shown here is gonna be positive Y, and then you have this one. This one is for the X, this one is for the X. Just put it in parallel and make this one to be positive x. And then the last one in the vertical, just put it. And that's going to be your positive c. And this one going to be negative c. And this one going to be negative x. And this is on this one, copy all the point. This is b, nine centimeter, putting over here. This is going to be joint B. And then there is the green cable. So if you dock it, you will have the arrow. Okay, point out. 
ลูกศรพุ่งออกฟอร์มฮาร์ดิคิลเอโอเค that's gonna be t t vector t sub a b and then there is point c make it to be nine centimeter as before okay you put this one to be point c then you have the arrow the tension point from a to c and then you may call this is a sub a c copy copy and then nine centimeter over here you get this point to be point b and then you have another arrow point out to the point b you call this one t sub a d now following this one t sub a b is in this cable we also have the the weight of 20 kilo newton put it in this c direction and then we have this one to be 20 kilo newton then we have to write the angle following what we have over here this is 120 degree so we call this one alpha is going to be 120 degree alpha is the angle of the vector with the x direction and this one for the y direction we call this one beta and beta is 135 degree and the last one if you measure over here that's gonna be gamma okay put the gamma over here then the point b has the coordinate let us turn moving you to point d if you walk aloud you got to walk from the coordinate here that's gonna be zero 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 you walk by x axis walk by x axis okay and then you turn it by the y axis and then you turn it by the c axis and then you get at point b from this picture from this picture you walk here for one meter you walk in the negative x so this one gonna be minus one then you walk two meter in the positive y direction so it's gonna be positive two and then you walk upward in the c direction then then you have positive two meter okay now you just put it minus one two and two meter you get the free body diagram then you got to write the force vector okay you got to write the force vector you have what the one could be very easy which one you can read from from the pictures this one 20 in the c direction downward so force vector w the weight is going to be minus negative c and then k and then kilo newton that's going to be the easiest one okay then another one you can write it t sub a b okay this is going to be vector t sub a b t sub a b we don't know the magnitude yet just put it t sub a b and point in the 
x direction so it's going to be i in the negative oh sorry in the positive x so it's going to be plus p sub a b i kilo newton for the t sub a b okay okay use the use the position position vector vector to right p sub a d we use position vector we will have t sub a d equal to the magnitude we don't know the direction the direction gonna be based on the position vector concept it's gonna be from a to d from a to d we like it position vector from a to d and then divide it by the magnitude of the position now now we have position vector r a to d equal to equal to coordinate of d minus coordinate of a we have what minus one minus zero so minus one minus zero i at d two plus two minus zero j and the last one and then one plus two minus zero k so we have the position vector r sub a d equal to minus i plus two k plus two k okay we have the position vector like this one and then the magnitude of it r sub a d square root minus one square plus two square plus two square this is gonna be square root of four four one nine is gonna be three meter then this one gonna be t sub a d time time this one time the position vector minus i plus two j plus two k divided by three now you may have this one you may have this one to be what the first term the first term this one time this one minus t sub a d divided by three i plus two t sub a d divided three k plus two over three t sub a d k okay if you don't like it if you don't like it okay this is minus one divided by three you may put it this one minus zero point three 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 t sub a d i it's up to which one you like to that's gonna be plus zero point six 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 seven but put it in four digit t sub a d j plus zero point six 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 seven t sub a d k and this one must be in unit of force kilo newton okay then we go to t sub ac for t sub ac we use the coordinate dinet by direction cosi okay we use the coordinate direction cosi t sub ac vector is going to be p sub ac cos alpha i cos 
บต้าเจบวกคอสแกมมาเคโอเค now we have alpha we have beta but we don't have gamma okay we don't have gamma we determine we determine gamma from what this is the unit vector the magnitude c u p l e t gonna be one so cos square alpha บวก cos square beta บวก cos square gamma อีกคู่ถวด then cos square gamma อีกคู่ถวด minus cos square alpha alpha one ถวด t degree minus cos square beta one thirty five degree then you solve it okay you got to get To angle, so this one, you will have, you will have alpha equal to sixty. h uh, let me put it <laughs> to be sixty degree and one hundred twenty degree. The problem of the do so for the square, you get. Two answer, and one is sixty, one is one t w e n t y From the figure, from the figure, from the figure, what degree you should use? Which one? Sixty or one t w e n t See, this is close to what? This close to sixty or one t w e n t from the picture. You may say this is sixty. Okay, for one twenty, it's gonna be something like this one. This is gonna be one twenty. This is gonna be sixty. So this one close to which one? Close to which one? Close to this this alpha. Close to this one or this one? Close to, it's gonna be less than 90, right? For the picture, so this one gonna be 60 degree. The angle to be sharp angle, like this one. This is 60. This is 120. On the picture, we have it in the sharp angle, right? So this is going to be what we have for 60 degree. Then. If you use this one sixty, you will have the T sub A C equal to equal to T sub A C. Then cosine cosine alpha one t w e n t degree I plus cosine one t h i r t five degree J plus cosine 60 degree and then K and then you may really like this one P sub A C is going to be uh, the first one cosine this one minus 0.5 T sub A C I second one minus cos 135 to be minus 0.7 O Seven one T sub A C J, and the last one you have plus zero point five T sub A C K. Now you like the force vector, okay? The full force vector. Then we go to the second step. Use the Equation of equilibrium. First, summation of x sub x equal to zero. What will be x? 
this one is x okay this one is x and this one is x so you like it this is gonna be t sub a b and this one minus 0 0.5 t sub a c and then this one minus 0 0.3333 t sub a d and then equal to zero then you move to the second one for the j and for the j that's going to be summation of f sub y equal to zero j has only two components okay for ac minus 0 0.7071 t sub ac and this one plus 0 0.6667 t sub ad equal to zero and then the third one summation of f sub c equal to zero you select this is k this is k this is k okay you have this one this one ac plus 0 0.5 t sub ac and this one plus 0 0.667 t sub a d and this is negative it's going to be equal to 20. now we have one two and three okay you so 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 two and three okay in my opinion, I will take this one. I will take this one. Take this one. Okay, take this one. You may put it T sub A C equal to 0 0.667 T sub A D divided by 0 0.0071 T sub A D. Okay. And then and then you have this one to be the ratio of t sub a d then you put this one over here you put this one over here you will have the equation to be 0 0.5 times this one t sub a d plus 0 0.667 t sub a d equal to 20 okay so what we have over here what we have over here is going to be the point clear point six 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 seven divided by point seven oh seven one ah you have this one this is going to be 0 0.9429 for silicon nickel. This is 0 0.9429. Then time 0.5 plus this one, 0.667. This is going to be 1.138. T sub A D equal to 20. T sub A D gonna be 20. 20 divided by 1.1384. We have this one. Okay, this is going to be inverse. 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 And then time 20. You get 17.57. 17.57. Kilo Newton. Okay, kilo Newton. And then you just take this one times this one. Okay, you get P sub AC equal to times 0.94 to 9. You get this one to be 16.56 kilo Newton. Now, when you get T sub AC, put T sub AC 
เฮียพุทธีสัตว์เอดีเฮียยูยูเจทีสัตว์เอดีอีกัวทูโฟร์ทีนพอยต์วันทรีกิโลนิวตันโอเค anyway that's gonna require a lot of work <laughs> if trying to go back and solve it by yourself I believe you can do it okay let me stop this one first Uh, have more example. You may go to the PowerPoint, trying to understand how to solve the problem. And I should say, you got to do it by your hand. We have to work a lot. We have to use our hands. Okay. And the example going to be the right thing. It will be the right way. For you are study for the problem, and I hope. First, you should be able to draw, to draw the free body diagram by step by step, as I show you in the previous example. And then write the first vector correctly. Okay, as I show you, there are five ways to write the first vector from the previous previous example. You have. He did not always do like it. After you get a correct force vector, you will form up the equation of equilibrium, and then you should be able to solve this kind of Sabine's equation. And if you think this is going to be your half job, just draw the free body diagram and write the force vector. You will get like five point at that point. You don't need to solve the equation. Then there are the third problem in the midterm examination. You will focus on that one. That one could be easier in two D. Okay. Today I should finish uh, my lecture and uh, would like you to uh, have a chance to go to all of the example in the other point and. Uh, later, if we have anything to discuss, just come and ask me. We also have a lot more, okay, to the problem to come, and I will show you. And I believe, by showing you, you should have more understanding on this kind of problem. Okay, that's going to be the end of lecture six. Thank you.